excited to watch Jared Hill get an opportunity here today. And we're about to watch at 141 and Gavin Drexler, one of the most electric wrestlers in the country. This should be a good one today. But uh, as you say, the change at heavyweight, no Josiah Hill today. So that'll be a fun one in the, uh, in the heavyweight matchup for Oklahoma and North Dakota State. Here we go at 141. Schwartz v. Dresler. Schwartz, the senior out of Ponderosa High School by way of Franktown, Colorado. Transferred to Oklahoma from Northern Colorado two years ago, so he competed with the Sooners last year and was 22-6 and six overall. And, of course, that's where Kelsey's from as well. Mm-hmm. Moshe is a very talented kid. He's got a lot of tools in his toolbox. He's dangerous. He's got a wicked headlock, a great inside trip. He's got drags. He's got snaps. Good wizard. Beast on top. Coach Kish says he generally goes 1,000 miles an hour. He wants to slow him down just a little bit, a little more control in what he does. But a lot of tools. This should be a really good match. Uh, Drexler coming off a big win over Nebraska's Blake. Cushion. Yeah, you mentioned Drexler. Just, I mean, overall an impressive, an impressler, uh, an impressive wrestler all the way around with an incredible pedigree too. Moshe likes that wizard. He usually just hangs with it rather than uses it. But he's using it right there. Hipped him over. Oh. Uh oh. He's in trouble now. Balances out well. Yeah, and that easily could have been two. It was really close, but I like how he fought back off that. So no scoring either way. There's that inside trip we talked about. Steps across you generally don't want to do, but he's going to come out on top and in a guillotine. What did we say? He is dangerous. Moshe's got a chance here, coach. Moshe's got a chance for the pin. <laughs> trying to work that left shoulder and an incredible job of avoiding it for now by Drexler so that should be seven right that's a four point near fall and here's here's a little bit of the downside of three point takedown if you do one move take him down get him on his back that can be seven points mm. but on the other hand you can play catch up a little quicker with three point takedowns as well. What an electric first period here. Moshe might not be done. No, Moshe's <laughs> real good with legs. I don't know if Byron Tucker's in the house, but when Byron Tucker used to uh, put legs in, we would put our hands over our mouths because he, we didn't want to snicker and disrespect. <laughs> our opponents but we knew that in about four seconds that guy was going to start screaming because what pressure he put on <laughs> how about that sequence coach take us through it it looked for a moment like Moshe Schwartz might have himself a pin so he hips him over and he's got his back points right there and then from the wizard, he steps over and puts legs in it can be dangerous but if the guy comes through like that you wind up in a guillotine no guts, no glory. Start of the second period. Drexler, by the way, coming off a, a, an impressive redshirt season. He wrestled at 141 again last season, finished 15-5 and five for Coach Kish. Out of Stratford, Wisconsin. Eight zip now in favor, though, of the Sooner Schwartz off the escape. There's the drag. He's got nice arm drags. Looking for that inside trip again. Like I said, a lot of tools in the box. Got the clasp. Try to get the clasp with that left, that right hand on the left forearm. Did Drexler, but motion was too much. Yeah, nice duck under attempt by Drexler. But Moshe's comfortable in situations where a lot of guys aren't. Nice dump. This is a dominant performance and a very technical and tough 
performance. Looking to the tip for the tilt. It's 11 nothing now. Complete control. Yeah, he's getting close to technical fall territory over a very good wrestler. You mentioned it had the one of the two wins for North Dakota State in their loss to Nebraska. And he is in complete control right now is Schwartz over Drexler. Final five seconds here of the second period. Wow. What's interesting about it is Moshe last year beat a guy named Clay Carlson. Does that name sound familiar? Sounds familiar. That's our 165 pounder's brother. <laughs> and he had a likewise, who can wrestle, and yet Moshe had a likewise dominant victory to what we were seeing, at least so far today. Carol, Kale Carlson will wrestle at 165. Coming up here in a bit. Hendrickson took care of 125, winning three to one. Kelzer dominant in an eight to two win. And this is just the definition of domination right now from Schwartz, who is up 13 to zip in the 141 match. Oh, that's where you have to have short arms. Nice club down pancake by Drexler. Gets back in it. He's got that head pry. What's the concern here? Where do you have to be careful? Just what you short? just saw, the guy ducking under and taking you to his back. There's that headlock we talked about. And he is dangerous with that sucker. So he's close to tech fall territory once again. Moshe very comfortable on his knees. Stalking, looking for one final opportunity. But you notice what happens when that guy clubs his head, he extends his arm. That's how you get pancake. Short arms. Got to wrestle with short arms. Final 20 seconds of the third. Schwartz in complete control. Maybe looking for one more opportunity. Yeah, he's trying to force things a little bit there. That inside trip wasn't open and it exposed him uh, to a takedown. But overall, just a, an excellent and a dominant win. Oklahoma has won all three matches so far. And they have come out ready and they have come out fast. Give me a little bit of what Roger Kish gave his lightweights headed out to the mat today. They have come out focused and ready to roll. And we're ready to roll at 149. And it, one other note here on, on Moshe Schwartz's win. You brought Gavin Drexler had a very impressive win over Nebraska last week. No, that's exactly right. No, this has got to be a confidence builder for Moshe. He struggled a little bit with.